So Linda, we're, we're ready to go to uh, the live stream. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I wanna welcome all of you on behalf of the faculty, staff and administration to our award ceremony for our Doctor of Physical Therapy graduates in the class of 2020. My name is Ellen Costello, and I feel very fortunate to serve in the role as program director and physical therapy faculty member. We appreciate the uniqueness of this celebration and hope that you are joining us from near and far and are all healthy and well in your respective communities. We have cultivated a unique community here at GW of students, faculty, and staff who are all committed to this educational journey for our graduates. We spend so much time together, we really see ourselves as family, or at least I do. So please bear with me if I shed a few tears along the way as we celebrate our graduates. Graduation is a time of excitement as you embark on a new phase of your professional journey, as well as a time for a few tears as we say so long to friends and colleagues who you spent the last three years learning and growing with. In our heart of hearts, we feel you all deserve a special award for the late nights and early mornings, the SPIs, the lab practicals, the OSCEs, simulations, plans of care, health condition worksheets, group projects, which we know you love so well, and of course, the hours that you spent in the anatomy lab your first semester way back in the fall of 2017. Think of how much you've grown professionally and personally over the course of these three years. We're so proud of you all and all of your accomplishments. I know these seem like uncertain times and may feel overwhelming, but there's one thing that we're very certain of and very enthusiastic about, and that is you and your future. We know our profession and the health and wellness of our communities are in good hands as you join the healthcare workforce. You are bright, hard workers, and often most importantly, you have kind hearts. I get labile around graduation, so here I go. Hold on once, hold on one second. Um, you are the healthcare professional trifecta, the person that patients and clients put their trust in and spend so much of their time with and share their stories with when you work with them to achieve their professional goals. We applaud all of you today and look forward to all of the exciting professional and personal accomplishments in your future. At this time, we would also like to acknowledge a few of your friends and classmates for their consistent and outstanding performance during their tenure here at GW. I would also like to acknowledge the graduates, friends and families who have supported you through this rigorous journey. Before we get started with a formal presentation of awards, I'd like to introduce our, introduce our department chair and program faculty member, Dr. Joyce Maring. So greetings all and uh, welcome graduates, friends and family to this virtual celebration. I am really so glad to have this opportunity to see you and to let you know how proud we are of your accomplishments and successes. So when I thought about your graduation at this time in our history, I initially felt sad at the disruption for all of you and all of us, right? But then when I reflected more deeply on that, I also felt that today's pandemic in a sense shines a spotlight on how critical your acquired and proven skills are to the health and recovery of the nation. Physical therapists ameliorate the impact of chronic conditions on wellness in a way that reduces risk for severe outcomes. And physical therapists have the skills to promote recovery and a return to meaningful life um, for persons and families surviving the virus. And so those skills, I think, will be more and not less important going forward. And I am beyond pleased, as already Dr. Costello has mentioned, that all of you um, are going to be joining that mission and effort. So again, really my warm congratulations, my request that you stay in touch with us, that you are going to let us know where you land 
and what and how you are doing, we will really crave that information going forward. Um, so it's now my pleasure to introduce you to uh, Dr. Reimer Bouchard. I suspect most of you have already met him in some capacity or venue. For those who um, do not know him, Dr. Bouchard is the Senior Associate Dean for Health Sciences. And, and here's a fun fact. He began his work as Dean for Health Sciences not all that long before this class um, was admitted to the program. And I can say on a personal perspective, we have sure appreciated his support for the program and his enthusiasm for what you as students and now physical therapists um, bring to the school and to the healthcare environment. So I turn this over now to Dr. Bouchard. Hi, can you hear me okay there, Ellen and team? Wow, that's close. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Joyce, this is particularly special because I do feel like this class and I kind of started together. So this is a, this is a particularly um, awesome moment for me. And I wanted to echo my congratulations to all the uh, graduates and their families and friends um, and just tell you how extraordinarily proud we are of you and how um, much we value the way you live and um, demonstrate the values of GW in all of your work, not just in your studies, but in your volunteerism and, uh, and the ways you engage the community. Um, probably the physical therapy program is one of the most um, family oriented I've ever encountered in my career. There's just such a extraordinary bond between faculty and staff and students. And I always love seeing that. I think it, um, it also enriches your educational experience for sure. I want to shout out those faculty and staff. They're some of the best we have at GW, and they pour their hearts and souls into trying to create an educational experience that really not only builds your clinical competencies as physical therapists, but strengthens your humanity, your connections with one another, and your commitment to serving those um, around you, including those that may really struggle to get the services uh, or, or struggle to, to achieve their very best health. So, I want to just um, acknowledge the hard work of the faculty and staff who are some of the strongest advocates uh, for your success uh, every day. And I want to just call out how proud I am of the excellence that the PT students demonstrate. The track record of physical therapy students from GW, their academic success, their heavy involvement in the community through volunteerism and philanthropic efforts, it really defines you and has distinguished you. I get very excited as I meet with alumni and people in the community and get to talk to, to GW leadership and I always brag on you and you never let me down. So I wanna thank you for being such exceptional um, uh, models and, and citizens. I think uh, in particular, all that you have done to help others along the way, even though you're very, very busy, uh, is a real uh, tribute to your character and your humanity and, and all that you will do in your, your career. I know this is somewhat of a heartbreaking experience not to be together. I feel for Dr. Costello because she gives the tightest hugs I've ever seen of a faculty member. It's like she doesn't want to let you go. Uh, but I know your faculty and staff uh, are really heartbroken not to be with you in person. Um, but your health and safety is, is our utmost priority. And I'm really happy that we can all be together um, virtually. The COVID has just transformed everything around us. And I will share just one insight. I'm, I'm a primary care provider and have, have worked in geriatrics my whole career. And I've had the good fortune to collaborate and partner with physical therapists for, for many years and have valued um, the partnership in caring for older patients. And I will tell you that as we have focused our health systems lately on emergent uh, and urgent conditions, and in particular focused on those that have been ill from the novel coronavirus, we have other patients, many, many thousands around us in our community and millions in the country who have not gotten the necessary um, chronic medical care or preventive care or been able to deal with things that uh, might not meet the level of emergent, but certainly are harming them in their daily lives, their ability to function and care for their families. And so you're coming out of your program at a very critical time. There's going to be this tremendous wave of patients that, whose personal health has declined for those that have missed you know, important days, uh, uh, critical rehabilitation days, opportunities for recovery, and they're gonna need you more than ever. And I'm encouraged to know that you will be there 
but know that you're gonna be very busy for the next six or seven months, if not a year. Um, and so on that note, let me, just, let me just echo for Dean Bass and President LeBlanc that you really have defined what excellence in health professions are for us at GW. We have the full confidence that you are competent and will we'll enrich your community and your field with your leadership. And I just couldn't be more proud of you. So all those people that helped you along the way, give them a really big hug or a virtual kiss if you're not together. And I wish you a healthy, happy uh, next few months as you, as you part GW and enter your work. So thank you, Dr. Castell and Dr. Marin for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dr. Bouchard, for joining us. We, we very much appreciate it. And, um, and we're going to move on to the uh, kind of more formal uh, aspect of the uh, award ceremony. So if um, hopefully folks were able to take a look at the program that was also uh, posted. So if you want to follow along, you can see there is a PDF of the program uh, that was available as well. Um, and so we're going to follow through uh, and start with the um, some national awards. So there is a, a national physical therapy uh, student honor society uh, that was recently established within the last two years by the American Council of Academic Physical Therapy, um, and that is you know basically all the the schools and institutions in the country belong to ACAP or the American Council of Academic Physical Therapy. And together, um, one of the missions is really to recognize students across the country into a national physical therapy honor society. And those individuals um, are deemed to have demonstrated excellence and integrity and professionalism in the academic environment and leadership and in the areas of service. And as a member of the society, these individuals are expected to uphold and implement the core values of physical therapy profession. So this year, we have a distinct honor of acknowledging that Marie Blasey is our award winner for our National Physical Therapy Student Honor Society. So Marie, give some more waves so everybody can see where you are. So congratulations to Marie. Do you have some family back there that can wave with you, Marie? <laughs> so, come, yay! All right, love to see the moms in the picture. Absolutely. So, yeah, and the dog, and the dog. So congratulations, Marie. And uh, we really appreciate all of your contributions. Uh, also, especially pulling together uh, the video montages that you did for um, for the program. So I'm sure all of your classmates are really appreciative of that as well. So congratulations. Um, we're going to move on to uh, the next award and uh, Dr. Karen Schlump is going to, uh, is going to uh, give the next award out. Hello everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. I always enjoy this part of the year, um, virtual or in person. This is, this is wonderful. Um, my name is Karen Schlumpf. I am a professor in the uh, School of Medicine and Health Sciences and specifically over in the Clinical Research and Leadership Department. Um, I am also the chapter president of our Alpha Eta National Honor Society. And it's my pleasure today to be here and tell you a little bit about the Honor Society and to recognize um, amongst uh, those of, of you amongst this group that have been inducted into Alpha Eta. And um, you know, when I call your name uh, in a little bit, you'll give that queenly wave and anybody in the picture frame along with you. Um, so Alpha Eta is a national honor society for health science professionals. Our aim is the promotion and recognition of significant scholarship leadership and contributions to the health professions. To be eligible for induction into this honor society, graduates will have performed academically in the top 20% of their class. In addition, they will have exhibited leadership qualities and demonstrated a commitment to community service. And as the chapter president, it is my honor to recognize the graduate inductees from the GW Doctorate of Physical Therapy class of 2020. And again, Give those queenly waves as I name, as I call out your names. Marie Blasey, Rebecca Cunningham, Avi Feldman, Christopher Fiedler, Cameron Gordon, Kendall Leip, Gordon Panzer, Hayden Schober, and Ray Strazula. Okay, one more big wave from everybody. 
and congratulations and welcome to Alpha Eta. All right, it's my um, great honor to present the next award. This, the Oscar Ekmeki Interprofessional Leadership Award is given to any student in the School of Medicine and Health Sciences who embodies the spirit and memory of Oscar. Oscar was a former associate professor in the Department of Clinical Research and Leadership. Although he had a long and successful career as an engineer, academia, teaching, and inspiring was his passion. He was quoted to be a brilliant scholar and gentleman who conveyed instantaneous warmth and had the ability for helping others see and develop their full potential. Recipients of this award demonstrate a capacity for leadership within the field of health sciences and have participated in or advocate for interprofessional collaboration within or beyond the borders of health sciences. Although this recipient will be recognized tomorrow during the health sciences virtual graduation celebration, because this recipient is a member of our GWPT class of 2020, we wanted to recognize them here. This year's recipient, a doctoral candidate for the degree of physical therapy, led the partnership between DPT students and biomedical engineering students to help the engineering students understand the patient side of the equipment and the clinical applications of the devices. This recipient was the first GWPT student to be elected to serve as a graduate student senator where they fought to include grad students more in the larger GW community. This recipient was inspired by the Community Mobility Day in their interventions class during the first semester that they then participated in a GW-wide initiative to continue to assess the ADA accessibility for the university's yearly report. This recipient was also the pro bono clinic representative in the PTSO and was instrumental in encouraging their peers to volunteer their time and energy for this amazing organization. When I remember Oscar Ekmeki, I am always reminded of his smile, laugh, and positive demeanor. Those characteristics, in addition to all the remarkable things this student recipient accomplished while here at GW, is why I find it so fitting that the award this year goes to one of our very own students, Stephanie Johnson. Hello, uh, we will now begin our program awards. The Outstanding Alumna Award is presented to an alumnus from the George Washington University program in, the physical, therapy, in physical therapy that embodies the mission of the program. This year, the faculty would like to present the 2020 Outstanding Alumna Awards to two outstanding alumna. Since graduating in 2017, our first recipient has done some pretty amazing things. Specializing in the rehabilitation of individuals with spinal cord injury, this recipient has made his mark both in the clinic and in the community. His love of neurologic rehabilitation and sports led him to volunteer as head coach for the Northern Virginia Mutiny Wheelchair Rugby Team, a US Quad Rugby Association Division II team in Fairfax, Virginia. Over the past few years, he has led the team to 19th overall in the country. In addition to clinic work and coaching, this recipient has also kept strong ties with GW. He has been a guest lecturer and over the past two semesters, an adjunct professor assisting with the education of our class of 2021. It is my pleasure to award the first Outstanding Alumna Award to Ryan Cusack. Ryan, could you give a little wave for the webcam, please? All right. So hello, everybody. Um, and just for friends and families, um, my name's Marissa Berkmeyer, and I'm the Director of Clinical Education uh, for the GW program. I'm a pediatric PT also. Um, I have the pleasure of announcing our second alumni award winner, which is Gabe Kresge from the class of 2016. So I just have a few words to say about Gabe. Um, so Gabe, your enthusiasm for the GW program and commitment to the program has really shown brightly, really since the time you've been a student, you know, when you were here with us. 
So he may remember, um, but my favorite memory of Gabe was when he and Jim enthusiastically participated in an active learning strategy in PEDS that truly left a mark on 2000 Penn in our second year classroom. And I will just leave it at that. And since then, he continues to always check back in with his GWPT family um, when he was local. Um, now he's outside of the area, but he'll come back and participate in Con Ed on campus and always comes by to say hello, chat with us, update us on what he's doing. Um, and most importantly, he, he responds to my random texts. Um, and as I said, I'm the director of clinical education. So one of those random texts he responded to most recently was when I reached out to see if he could take one of our students. Um, and I think we're all gonna just cry. <laughs> um, is that, you know, he, he responded right away because he was gonna do anything he could to help a GWPT student graduate. So we thank Gabe, and we're all so lucky you chose us to be your PT fan. And of course, I have to continue to speak. So now I'm gonna um, speak to um, the Outstanding Clinical Educator Award. So I think I'm good now. Um, so clinical education plays a very significant role um, in the development of new clinicians. And the faculty and students of the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, we really owe a debt of gratitude um, to all of our clinical educators. However, the faculty wishes to recognize a particular clinical educator for exceptional dedication and commitment to the development of the George Washington University Physical Therapy Students and Program. And the faculty and students would like to recognize and extend their gratitude to this year's outstanding clinical educator, Thelma Wilkins. So I just have a few words to share about Thelma. So Thelma has been an incredible clinical educator for the GWPT program really throughout the years, throughout my time here. Um, she's been wonderful. Um, in addition to her clinical role as an OT and other managerial responsibilities, she manages the clinical education program at Inova Fairfax Hospital for multiple rehabilitation professional programs. So not just OT, but she's PT and speech um, for the clinical education. She supports it. She creates a supportive environment for learning for students and for clinical instructors at Inova Fairfax. Through my experiences over the years, I've witnessed students grow personally and professionally in unexpected ways through their experiences that I know about. This can only happen when there's strong leadership to create such a positive learning mm -hmm. environment. A GWPT grad um, shared these words with me in reference to Thelma's incredible supportive nature. So I'm just gonna say her few these words. So she said, I'm partic I particularly am thankful for, for Thelma, for a time I had a difficult patient family interaction as a new therapist. She listened to my concerns and served as a resource to provide clinical and emotional guidance, helping me to problem solve and find how to best approach the situation. Because of this, I was able to process the encounter and feel better prepared if this were to happen again. This is just one of the many examples how Thelma has helped our team. And we wanna just really Thank you so much, Thelma, for all that you do for all students. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, you may want to mute yourself because I unmuted you. Hello, my name is Keith Cole. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the PT program. Now we'd like to recognize several groups of people who play large roles in the, in the success of the program and the mission of the GWPT program, both within and outside our academic walls. Personally, um, this is the first graduating class that I taught at GW, so I'm extra proud of this cohort of students. Um, it's my pleasure to recognize the student research assistants. A number of students have pursued research opportunities during their time at GW Physical Therapy. They spent many hours outside the classroom, increasing their knowledge in areas of interest, searching for background articles and combining data, and sometimes playing with virtual reality devices. Um, we are also proud that we had several student authors from this uh, class on peer-reviewed presentations and posters. Uh, please wave to the camera as I call your name. Haley Gillen, 
Oliver Hecht, Eric Holquist, Stephanie Johnson, Kendall Leip, Shira Rakusen, Kathy Rad, Ray Strazula, and Haley Young. Thank you all for your hard work and dedication to making our profession great. And wave one more time the whole group to the, to the uh, graduating class. Hello, I'm Erin Wenzel, and I have the privilege and honor in the PT program as serving as one of the faculty liaisons to the Physical Therapy Student Organization. The PTSO is the leadership of the PT program. It was started in uh, 2011 by the DPT class as a way to strengthen and increase the risk re reach of physical therapy students across the campus and in our community. The class of 2020 has truly lived up to that charge and has done amazing work. I am constantly motivated and inspired by their passion, their dedication, and the fact that they do it all with a smile. It has been my pleasure to watch them grow as leaders, and I'm so incredibly happy to have them as my peers as physical therapists now. So I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the class officers and thank them for their leadership and their time and their dedication to the program. So if you could please give a wave when I call your name. Our president, Jen Kinch, Vice President, Aaron Blazer Wright, Secretary, Marie Blasey, Treasurer, Zoe Pond McPherson, Community Service Chair, Casey Burr, Fundraising Chairs, Mel Downton and Marty Zenthofer, Historian, Cam Gordon, Prospective Student Representatives, Ray Strazula and Shiri, Shira Rakusin, MCSC Honor Council representatives, Brian Salazar and Rebecca Cunningham, APTA student representatives, Haley Young, student alumni representative, Kirsten Schultz, the pro bono clinic student liaison, Stephanie Johnson, and our cultural competency chairs, Erica Saito and Gianna White. Thank you all so much for your service, your leadership, and we can't wait to see the wonderful things you do in the future. Hi, and good afternoon. I am David Scalzidi, an assistant professor in the program in physical therapy. It is my honor to work with uh, all of you um, the past few years in the classroom that you're bright students and you've accomplished a lot. But what I'm here for is that one of the pillars of our PT program is service to the community. That the students in our program, among many different service initiatives, assist with providing pro bono physical therapy care each Saturday morning at the Little Workers of the Sacred Hearts Medical Mission Pro Bono Physical Therapy Clinic. And I know in these times of social distancing, it's probably hard on all of our students of not to be providing service uh, to our communities at the current time. Um, to specifically recognize uh, the, those who have participated at the Little Workers of the Sacred Heart which is many of you, please give a wave when your name is announced so you're, we may formally recognize your commitment to those you have served. Stephanie Johnson, Aaron Wright, Chris Fielder, Ellison Edelstein, Marie Blasey, Rebecca Cunningham, Carlo Tirso, Rachel Deal, Elena Jirasi, Haley Gillen, Cameron Gordon, Avi Feldman, Ree Clark, Shira Rakusen, Laura Falcon, Jen Kinch, Laura Woke, Sarah Quasmi, Kendall Lippi Leip, Tara Holderman, Gianna White, and Kirsten Schultz. And finally, just everyone uh, that who's volunteered at the Little Workers to give a wave that I wish we could be taking a group photo in person.
Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Uh, it's good to see everyone's faces, even though we can't get together in person. My name is Danu J. Seelan. I'm an assistant professor and proud alumni of this program, for those who don't know. Um, and it's my honor to be able to introduce the Academic Excellence Award. And this award we typically give to the individual who excels academically, but also kind of in, embodies the mission and vision of the program. Um, and so we had a lot of opportunities to give a lot of uh, awards, but we can only do one. Um, so the person that we have chosen this year uh, almost did perfectly with a, a very high GPA that um, we're all very proud of and then uh, spent a lot of times uh, volunteering her time to the, the program, the school, as well as uh, the, the community. Uh, so we're, we're happy to award this, this award this year to Hayden Schober. Hayden, can you go ahead and uh, wave? Hopefully your cat's not jumping on you again. I saw that happen earlier. All right, good enough. Hi folks, and good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate my attire before I get going. I came prepped and ready for today's celebration. So when in doubt, remember the homunculus. All right, folks, I have the distinct pleasure um, of presenting the two following awards to the group. Uh, the first award is for the Excellence in Clinical Leadership Award. This award is presented by faculty of the Doctor of Physical Therapy program to recognize the graduates who most exemplifies outstanding performance in clinical practice. This year's recipients received outstanding remarks from the clinical instructors during each of their clinical immersions and internships. Both of these award recipients are open to learning in all situations. They exude kindness and empathy with all interactions and they desire to seek learning opportunities. I think both really understanding that learning in a, is a lifelong pursuit and they take that to heart. We are so proud of these two individuals because these are words that were uh, uh, observed and highlighted by their clinical instructors. And they just obviously exemplified this in clinic and we knew this already as we sent them out of our classrooms. The faculty would like to present the 2019 Clinical Excellence Awards to Tara Holderman and Rebecca Cunningham. I realized I didn't tell my name. My name is Joe Signorino, I'm core faculty. I would like to wish each one of you best of luck. Uh, you were also my inaugural class back in exams. Um, I couldn't have any more fun than hanging out with you guys, and, and you guys broke me in, so much appreciated. The second award I have the privilege of presenting is the Service Excellence Awards. This second award I have the honor of presenting uh, is presented by the Doctor of Physical Therapy program to recognize the graduates who most exemplified outstanding service to others throughout his or her time in the program. This class was particularly passionate about service as it was highlighted by Dr. Scalziti. Because of this, the program would like to present four service awards uh, this year to the class of 2020. The award recipients are Jennifer Kinch, Cameron Gordon, Shira Rakusin, and Ray Shredzula. Congratulations, folks. Hello again. And I realize I also forgot to introduce myself last time. My name is Dr. Holly Jomley, and I'm an assistant um, professor in the program and also the associate program director. And um, as everybody has echoed, uh, we miss you very much. And it's unfortunate that we cannot celebrate with you together, but we're so glad uh, that we can do this with you now. So I have the second honor of, um, of, of presenting the Peer Award. So two years ago, we instituted a new award, which was called the Peer Award. The students nominate a classmate who shares their own knowledge, assists other classmates, and works for the good of the entire class. 
This student was humbled by the nomination for this award and said that they found it easy, oddly, to fall into the role of leader for their peers, leading study sessions, asking second and third order questions to help understanding, create study guides, taking time out of their day to help someone learn a concept, review before an exam, or just listen as the stressors, that's the UPS man. Bringing the award to you. So they took time out of their day to help someone learn a concept, review before an exam, or just listen as the stressors of PT school would build. This recipient was found to assist their peers, the GW program, and community in many ways. They assisted on prospective student interview days, volunteered for PT day of service at the pro bono clinic, the working wounded games, and adaptive sports day. This recipient was also the co-creator of the GW American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapy student group and served as the secretary for this organization for two years. It is an honor to recognize this year's recipient of the class of 2020 peer award, which goes to Ree Clark. Hi all, my name is Margaret Plack, uh, also a professor here. Um, and I will say it is truly an honor and with great pleasure that I get to present this, the final and yet most prestigious award presented to a graduating student by the faculty in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. The Jean Johnson Award for Leadership, Excellence and Quality is given in rec recognition of overall outstanding performance. This award is named for Dr. Jean Johnson, who is the former Dean of the School of Nursing and former Senior Associate Dean for Health Sciences and is a longtime colleague and friend of mine. Dean Johnson has been an advocate for the physical therapy program for years, actually since its inception. And without her, this program truly would not exist. But more than that, she exemplifies those qualities of leadership, excellence, and lifelong learning that we do believe are integral to being a doctor of physical therapy. This year, we have exceptional graduates, but this particular graduate has excelled not only in the classroom and clinic, but also has established herself as a leader and advocate for the program, peers, and, and the profession. While maintaining a very impressive GPA in a very rigorous time-consuming doctoral program, this individual managed to single-handedly provide almost a thousand hours of service to the community, the program, the profession, and to the pursuit of discovery through research. This person served on the board of physical therapy student organization as the APTA representative, and then transitioned to become the DC core ambassador for the APTA student assembly, where she was a liaison to our national professional organization and represented and advocated for students from multiple local physical therapy programs. Oh, and that was just her first year. In her second year, as well as the roles I mentioned, she became vice president for the DC Student Special Interest Group and continued her role in advocacy. In addition to her leadership roles in advocacy, this individual managed to find the time to support the program with interviews for admissions and helped coordinate alumni events at CSM. She supported the profession in planning regional student conclave events, national advocacy dinners, and social events linking students from GW and Howard University physical therapy programs. And in support of both the local and global community, she volunteered at numerous community health, health fairs and uh, wheelchair basketball tournaments volunteered in support of the Global Day for Girls International Organization and volunteered as a fitness instructor at the Whitman Walker Clinic. If that's not enough, in her second year, she also became a research assistant in physical therapy, which required upwards of 10 hours a week of her time. She was extremely successful, successful in this role as well, as she presented her research at GW Research Days two years running had two abstracts published by the American College of Sports Medicine, attended two national conferences. Again, all of this on top of her exceptional academic and clinical performance. As you can see, this year's recipient truly has demonstrated excellence and quality in academic coursework, 
clinical practice, research, and community service. I speak on behalf of the faculty when I say, it is an honor to present the 2020 Jean Johnson Award for Leadership Excellence and Quality to Haley Yan. Haley, raise your hand. Good afternoon, my name is Kirsten Schultz. I'm the alumni representative for a classes student organization. In 2015, the GW Doctorate of Physical Therapy program started the tradition of the outgoing class paying for the incoming classes white coats. We are going to continue this tradition with our class gift and we'll be providing the funds for the class of 2023's white coats. At their white coat ceremony in the fall, the incoming class will also find a welcome letter with some words of wisdom placed in each pocket. Each one is individually written by one of us. Hi everyone, my name is Marie Blasey. I'm the class secretary for the class of 2020 in our student organization. And I'm here to let everyone know that there are two presentations to supplement our graduation ceremony that are online on the department website. And that link will be sent to everyone following the ceremony. These video presentations were put together with the help of all our students and some of our faculty, especially and thank you to Dr. Wenzel and um, Linda Cotton. And we put these slideshows together to highlight everyone throughout the last three years as our collective group. And then another slideshow to highlight our each individual student, what they've been up to for the last three years, some fun facts, and then where they'll be in the future. So feel free to check those out to help celebrate our graduates and congrats everyone. Hi, um, my name is Jen, uh, but please just, just call me doctor. Um, so I'm PTSO president and I've been given the pleasure of giving out the Outstanding Faculty Award. Um, on behalf of the class of 2020, I just wanted to thank all of you for being such outstanding faculty. Um, it was nice to have such a good pool to pick from. Um, you've all been such an integral part of our education and our experience while at GW. Uh, but however, there can only be one capital O outstanding faculty member this year. And our class wanted to recognize Dr. Berkmeyer, Pete's extraordinaire, a clinical miracle worker and all around badass. Dr. Berkmeyer, thank you for your tireless effort in ensuring that we had the best clinical education possible and for being available to us when we needed you. I know I've personally cried in your office two times, so I can only imagine all of the patients that was required for all 42 of us. Thank you for being a model of calm, cool, and flexibility and for your artful scrambling amidst COVID-19, which has allowed us all to graduate today. Um, because of you, we are all prepared to start our journey as physical therapists, and for that, we thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. For family and friends of the class of 2020, my name is Shira, Shira Kusin, and I am honored to address my classmates today. Good afternoon, class of 2020. Good morning to those on the West Coast, and congrats to those who just left their NPTE testing centers. I'm not sure if I should be congratulating you on actually getting a spot at an open center or crushing the NPTE, but nonetheless, you should be extremely proud. I would like to start by sharing a personal story. On March 1st, 2018, I could tell something just didn't feel right. I could vividly remember walking around the classroom, doing a group activity, as the tightness began to fill my chest. Fear built as I began to worry, my breath becoming uneasy. Throat beginning to close. I turned to my classmate and told her how I was feeling as she tried to comfort me. A much needed 10 minute break was just announced just as my breath started to get more and more rapid. 
My classmate hurried to call 911 as another classmate went to get a faculty member. These moments turned vivid memories will forever be ingrained in me. I fell to the ground hyperventilating as my chest grew tighter and faculty began to surround me. I can remember Dr. Cohn holding my hand tightly and Dr. S organizing classmates in different part of the building to organize EMS. Dr. Casella rushed in, taking my vitals and trying to calm me down as fear had overtaken my system. I'll never forget her asking me if I knew what was going on. Being the smart ass I am, I remember saying, of course, respiratory alkalosis, as I continued to hyperventilate. EMS arrived and found everything to be fine. I decided against going to the hospital and spent the rest of the day trying to recover from the most awful mere 30 minutes, which felt like a lifetime. The next day I was told that I had a panic attack. I was later diagnosed with panic disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. The relief that I was okay, I was also not okay. The following months I had several panic attacks. There's nothing worse than feeling robbed of the most human thing, feeling like you can't breathe. Though those months were difficult, I worked hard in therapy to be able to manage my symptoms and get through our rigorous program. There were bad days, but there were also good days. And through my learning and the help of my classmates, I was able to push through. I'm not telling you this story to tell you about my struggle. I'm telling you this story to talk about the response following. First, those two classmates who were with me that day were amazing. Having a panic attack in the middle of class is painful and embarrassing to say the least. And they were non-judgmental, calm, and kept me grounded. They quickly found the right people to help and responded like the amazing clinicians they are today. Second, the response from the faculty was truly unbelievable. The organization of classmates to direct EMS, the constant checking of my vitals, and the hands to hold all helped to keep me calm. But it wasn't just those in individuals involved who were there for me. It was the countless classmates who texted me after, who offered love, thoughtful words, and assistance the following weeks and months. Through this experience, I realized I was not alone. So many classmates have sh since shared their own struggles with mental health. Everyone truly has something going on that we cannot see, which is why I feel so lucky to have a group of people who understand that and who were there for me when I needed it. This was one def defining moment, but was surely not the last. Through the past three years, we have all been so there for each other. I know we all hate group projects, but guys, we are one big group project that works so well together. GW is truly a family. Our faculty instilled in us characteristics that not only will make us great clinicians, but also great individuals. You are also compassionate, caring, and loyal. You've worked incredibly hard. Your dedication to professional and personal growth is beyond evident. It has been amazing to be part of a group so dedicated to learning. You are all brilliant. Each of you brings something unique to this group and each of you have made a difference on our class for the better. Our individual differences combined with our shared experiences make us an incredible team. We've been through so much together. Practicals, Dr. Costello's cold calls, cadaver dissection, Bigfoot dissection, FBI level interrogation from Dr. Cohn in tutorial, five hour lectures, the it depends answer, COVID virtual graduation and much more. It has not always been easy and it has not always been fun, but we've always had each other through it all. Life can sometimes feel like a giant panic attack, intense as hell and comes at you fast. But I've found that if you have people who you love and support and who love and support you by your side, life can start to slow down. The support and love I have felt through this program is no doubt recognized by each of your past patients and will be recognized by your future patients. You can be the smartest person in the room, know every piece of evidence and the perfect way to perform every skill, but none of it matters if you're not in it for the patient. Each one of you cares deeply about patient care and it has been evident through this program. GW has only greater instilled in us the drive to help people and to make our local and greater communities better through movement and compassion. I'm so excited to see what each of you goes on to accomplish. There's no doubt in my mind that you will all go on to do great things. Today, I think about the, the first time I met all of you. The first time we got a whiff of Cadaver Lab, our first SPIs, just praying that our patient wouldn't get up from their chair without a gate belt. And our first time taking blood pressure, 
sharing a dual stethoscope with Dr. W, just hoping you heard the right numbers. I think back to standing in Ross Hall while we put our white coats on for the first time in our very first days in clinic, beaming with excitement. I think about the first time we introduced ourselves as SPTs and how proud I am to call each of you DPT today. Congratulations to all. It is beyond earned and well-deserved. It has been an absolute honor to work and learn alongside each of you. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Next beer at Tonic is on me when all the craziness subsides. All the best, congratulations. Thank you so much, Shira, for that heartfelt charge to your classmates. Know that we, so, <laughs> we so appreciate all of you, um, every single one of you, and all of uh, what you've put together to put into each and every class. Um, we, we missed you sorely around 2000 Penn. We can't wait to visit you out in clinic as you folks go off into new jobs all across the country. Um, we want to see you um, at CSM. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it's going to be face to face. Uh, it's going to be down in Florida. Um, and we want to stay in touch for sure, uh, because as our GW community continues to grow, um, you know, we're not very far apart from each other. That is for sure. Um, so I want to congratulate you again for a fabulous three years. Uh, graduation never gets old. It's always exciting. It's always a little sad. And um, we just are fortunate that you guys uh, chose us. And we are really smart that we chose you. So we appreciate all of your efforts over the years and we look forward to your futures. And um, if folks could unmute their uh, webcam so we can all give each other a big round of uh, applause. I would like to hear some clapping for everybody. Love you. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely. Know that we'll always be your biggest cheerleaders um, going forward, and you'll always stay connected to us. Um, so we wish you well. Of course, we wish that we were with you in person, um, but uh, we feel fortunate to at least be able to see everybody. So um, that is uh, quite lovely. So enjoy the rest of your sunny day. It's here in DC, if you guys are local, it feels like a, a real summer day. It's uh, almost up to 80. And um, let us know where you end up. Stay in touch. For those of you who are still struggling to try to get an MPTE date, you know, I'm there with you uh, on a WebEx this afternoon here in the story and what they're going to do about it. Uh, again, for licensure, the same thing. If, if uh, folks need help, uh, just email me. We'll, we'll try to do whatever we can. Uh, to make sure that you get out there practicing, you know, as soon as possible, being the wonderful clinicians we know that you have become. So we love you and we miss you um, and wish you the best. So if folks want to stay on and chit chat to each other, feel free to do so, but I've got to go get some tissues. Uh, so. <laughs>